Good evening. This is All India Radio Gohima. I'm Jonas Yantan with Evening News. The headlines. BJP National President J.P. Nada says country rapidly prospering under the dynamic leadership of PM Narendra Modi. NSA welcomes September joint accordant between NSC and IM and NNPGs. Kohima District Planning De- Development Board approves constitution of Kohima District Sports Council. And Union Petroleum and Natural Gas Minister Hardeep Singh Puri says government taking all steps to make India energy independent by 2047. Now the news in detail. BJP National President J.P. Nata said it is an opportunity for the people of Nagaland and the people of India that under the dynamic leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, the country is prospering at a very high speed and taking leaps as far as development is concerned and that Nagaland is also not left behind. The BJP President who is on a two-day visit to Nagaland said this during a public meeting at Old Ripim village in Woka district today. Nada said we are committed for a speedy growth and we are trying to make India a self-reliant Atma Nirpur. To this the BJP President said we have proven under the leadership of PM Modi that India is becoming self-reliant. He also said, under the leadership of PM Modi, the fight against COVID-19 pandemic was also taken care of and that 130 crore people were given safe double dose of vaccines unlike the developed nations who were unable to fight the pandemic. Nada said, when medical facilities of the developed nations were crumbling down during the pandemic, PM Modi took a bold and timely decision of going for a lockdown and within a period of two to three months, he could prepare the country to fight corona by providing all PPE kits, isolation beds, vaccines and necessary medical facilities. He said India has not only saved its people but also provided vaccines under Vaccine Maitri program to 100 other countries. He said 20 crore vaccines have been given and out of these countries, 50 countries were given vaccines free of cost as a support from India. The BJP president therefore said things have changed wherein we are not the people who asked for help, but we are the people who gives help. Nada said today the scenery of the country is changed completely and under PM Modi, India is growing strong and the world is recognizing. The Naga Students Federation NSF has expressed jubilance on the September joint accordant signed by the leaders of NSCNIM and NNPGs yesterday. The Federation also thanked the Forum for Naga Reconciliation for its active liaison to bring about the historic accord. NSF said it was hopeful that the accord will achieve its goal of peace and respect and resolve understanding issues between the groups sooner than later, noting that this will not only be possible through the sincere and considered efforts of the parties and active support of all stakeholders, NSF assured prudence in thoughts, speech and actions to collectively strive and defeat all divisive elements that threaten to disrupt the nation-building process. Kohima District Planning and Development Board today approved the constitution of Kohima District Sports Council. The council will be chaired by Deputy Commissioner with District Sports Officer as Member Secretary. It will also comprise one member each, nominated by the board from Angami Sports Association, District Badminton Association, District Football Association, District Sebaktakro Association and District Athletic Association. The board also decided to recommend to the government the change of nomenclature from Merilisa High School to Crest View School and Multidisciplinary College at Kohima. Union Petroleum and Natural Gas Minister Hardeep Singh Puri today said the government is taking all steps to make India energy independent by 2047. Addressing a press conference after inaugurating the 25th Energy Technology Meet in Mumbai, he said that food, fertilizer and fuel were the sectors India recently faced difficulties due to instability in some parts of the world, but the country successfully navigated over it with confidence. Underlining the effective steps of the government for clean energy, he said that hydrogen blending up to 10% which was targeted for the end of this year, has already been achieved 
and the government is confident that 20% blending would be achieved by 2023. Minister of State for Petroleum and Natural Gas Ramesh Swar Delhi said that by 2030, the government will be setting up 18,000 new CNG stations and 1,000 LNG stations. This news comes to you from All India Radio, Kohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin on News on Air app and YouTube channel AI News Kohima. Engineers' Day is being observed today on the birth anniversary of the greatest Indian engineer, Parad Ratna, Sir Moksha Gundam, Visves Varaya. Prime Minister Narendra Modi greeted all engineers on the occasion of Engineers' Day. In a tweet, Modi said, Our nation is blessed to have a skilled and talented pool of engineers who are contributing to nation building. He said a government is working to enhance infrastructure for studying engineering, including building more engineering colleges. The Prime Minister said on Engineers' Day, the nation remembers the path-breaking contribution of Sir M. Visveswaraya. Modi hoped that the contribution of Sir M. Visveswaraya will keep inspiring generations of future engineers to distinguish themselves. A tripartite peace agreement will be signed by the Centre, Assam Government and five rebel groups of Assam in the presence of Union Home Minister Amit Shah in New Delhi today. Official sources said the agreement will be signed this evening. Assam Chief Minister Himanda Biswa Sarma, along with senior officials of the Home Ministry and the Assam Government will be present during the signing of the agreement. Today's International Day of Democracy is celebrated annually across the world to strengthen democracies and highlight its values and principles. The theme for this year is importance of media freedom to democracy, peace and delivering on the sustainable development goals. On the 15th anniversary of the Democracy Day, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres said, Democracy is backsliding across the world and urged all to stand up for the democratic principles of equality, inclusion and solidarity. He said this year the focus is on a cornerstone of democratic societies, free, independent and pluralistic media. Chief Minister Nipirio said the day is observed to promote and uphold the principles of democracy which is essential for peace, stability and development. Rio urged all to make sincere efforts to strengthen the foundations of democracy at all levels. The Treasury Officer Gohima South has informed all pensioners, both life and family, drawing pension from Gohima South Treasury that annual physical verification for 2022-23 will be held from the 10th till 21st of October at the Treasury Office Gohima South Treasury during office hours. In this regard, all pensioners have been asked to appear physically, along with PPO book, renewed NPA ID card, life certificate and non-marriage certificate, failing which payment will be stopped. Kohima District Sports Officer Zupovi Zecho has invited applications for the selection trial of Sibaktako, Reku event for both boys and girls under 14 on 24th of this month. Players below 14 years of age who are born on or after 12 October 2008 are eligible to apply and interested players can collect the forms at the District Sports Office, Kohima, IG Road, during office hours. The last date for submission of forms is September 21. Selected players will represent Kohima District in the upcoming 14th State Level Catch Them Young Tournament 2022 which is scheduled to be held on 13th and 14th of October at IG Stadium, Gohima. For further details, one may contact 7005-645485. I repeat, 7005-645485. And now to the news, here are the main points again. BJP National President J.P. Nada says, country rapidly prospering under the dynamic leadership of PM Narendra Modi. NSA welcomes September joined the between NSA and IM and NNBGs. Kohima District Planning and Development Board approves constitution of Kohima District Sports Council. And Union Petroleum and Natural Gas Minister Hardeep Singh Puri says government taking all steps to make India energy independent by 2047. 
That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night.